Hello beautiful family, it's Stephen here on the 4th of April in the year 2023. I had to think then and very quickly if you are new to this channel then my name is Stephen and I am a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The only way that anybody's going to be saved, the only name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved you must get saved because like the bible says the bible is the holy word of god it tells us that we have all sinned we've all broken god's commandments the bible says that the wages or the penalty of this sin is death that means hell but the free gift of god which god wants to give everyone is eternal life through jesus christ our lord for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes on him should not perish in hell but have everlasting life and have a place in heaven and the only requirement I'll, i will repeat it people keep adding to it but there's one requirement one only from the bible 1 corinthians 15 3 and 4 christ jesus died on that cross for us for our sins all our sin our lifetime of sin the blood of jesus cleanses us from all sin so you believe that jesus died for you on that cross he shed his blood for your sin he was buried and, and believe it in your heart know it's true that he rose again from the dead and, and call upon him or confess jesus as lord and you will be saved sealed sanctified justified until the day of redemption you now have everlasting life you're born of god uh, born again you're one of god's sheep um, and you will never perish and nobody can pluck you out of his hand and nothing all the powers of hell cannot keep god's love away from you you are now a child of the most high god you are one of his little children and he loves you and he delights in you he will deliver you because he delights in you now i've just come on here to, to edify you all and strengthen you all well god will do that i'm just going to be the one who's asking god so i ask him right now in the name of jesus father god that you quicken everybody watching i pray quicken their spirits and make them really lively just a second <clears throat> I pray, Lord God, you bless them all with power and fire of Holy Ghost upon them all. Make them bold as lions, wise as serpent, harmless as doves. Lord God, be their strength and their shield. Bless them, lift up your countenance upon them, make your face shine upon them, Lord God, and let their light so shine before men. Make them bold and courageous to share the gospel in these final moments of the end. So guys, um, it looks like, uh, w w well, we are here um, because we are looking for our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour Jesus Christ, Titus 2.13, who, according to the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, Verse 16 to 18, the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. That's our blessed hope. He's coming any second. Um, it's very likely he may come at this Passover where the Son of Man cometh at an hour that you think not so it might not come at Passover you know um, but we know one thing is for sure that prophetically speaking nothing more needs to happen for the rapture to take place we don't know the timing of Gog and Magog and, and the, the ring of fire Islamic nations that surround Jerusalem we don't know about this, nor of the burden of Damascus. Isaiah 17, when Damascus is taken away from being a city and shall become a ruinous heap. <clears throat> we don't know if that's before or after the rapture. I hope it's after, because there's a lot of Christians in Damascus. It's one of the oldest Christian um, cities, really. 
Um, you know, it's uh, it's an ancient city, it's Damascus. Well, it's going to be flattened. In the morning it shall be, in, well, in the, in the day it shall be, in, but by the night, in the next morning, it won't be. It'll be a heap of ruins. So, does this happen before or after uh, the rapture, when all believers and all little children born of God are caught up in the clouds to, to meet Jesus Christ in the air? Come, my people, and enter into thy chambers, wedding chambers, and hide, thy, hide thyself, as it were, for a moment, until the indignation be overpassed. For the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of, of the world. He's going to pour out his indignation and his wrath upon this world which has forsaken him and instead of believing lies, believing crazy stuff like these demons which present themselves as aliens, they're coming to save the people. Or, or, they, or they believe that they evolved or they just don't believe or think about anything except to fulfill the lusts of the eyes and the flesh um, but we look at that crazy uh, chem trailing up there can you see it all round in circles and then there's, oh, there's a great big long one there as well you see those chemtrails in the air that's not a vapor trail left by an aircraft it's deliberately put there like those over there those circles as you can see that's not aircraft that's that is demonic shape-shifting orbs which shape shift into aircraft um, if you look in the description box i think it's at the bottom you'll find a link to a guy's channel who caught them for what they are which is black demonic orb shaped aircraft doing this chemtrailing it's happening little children are noticing it I know, I know uh, sister Catherine I know her sons I know they know about the chemtrails and uh, and they're, they're, they're only very young I think one of them's just only just a teenager and they know about it so we should know about it we're not ignorant of Satan's devices I, I think this stuff, the chemtrails, comes from the rulers of the darkness of this world. That's what I believe. And I believe they're altering the atmosphere. Um, I believe they hear these things. But I believe, this is what I believe, the New World or the Antichrist beast system is all set to go. It, they can't, they're itching to put it into place. But they can't. The Antichrist is here. He's working behind the scenes and he knows he cannot implement his new system, his new world order beast antichrist mark of the beast system until that which withholds him is taken out of the way. Look, look in the um, Geneva Bible in 2 Thessalonians where it says that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. Well look in the Geneva Bible it says which is older and predates the King James Bible and is probably more accurate um, because the context of the falling away, apostasia well in the Geneva Bible it says that they shall not come except they'll come a de departing first because apostasia means either physical departure or a, a departure from the faith or sound doctrine so in the context of Thessalonians talking about uh, the rapture and the son of perdition it's it's obviously talking about um, the saints of god the light of the world we are the light of the world we are what is withholding the antichrist from coming on the world stage and implementing the mark of the beast system right so when we're taken up um, then then the antichrist system can establish himself on this world and uh, change this world so that's what he's going to do, change times and seasons and, and um, well, only for a short while and then his kingdom will be plunged into darkness and they will gnaw their tongues for pain. 
that's what's going to happen to the Antichrist. Then he's going to be picked up and tossed into the lake of fire. So this man is going to come on the world stage and say that he's God. He's going to say, hey, I'm the Christ. I'm the saviour of the world. And the people are going to believe it, that he's the saviour. So that's why they're going to take his mark. Because they're literally going to believe he's the saviour of the world. And that's how he's going to deceive them with lying wonders uh, and signs. Uh, with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they love not the, uh, they didn't love the truth. They had no love of the truth. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie. That they might all be damned which believed not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. That powerful delusion. Um, it, it, it's likely to be connected with these so-called aliens, which are demons posing as aliens. Um, I, I, I've seen one. I've seen one shapeshift. Uh, I've seen a demonic green serpent-type reptilian creature. In fact, it was about here, right where I'm stood, where it happened. Um, I, I was talking to this wo woman, and this guy came up, and... Um, I, I had to go into this pound land. So I, I left talking, I came out, I came out of that door there. As I came out, um, I, I looked here where he was stood and he was, uh, and he was, he, he shapeshifted into green serpent. And as soon as this serpent thing saw that I had seen who, who, what it was, it turned back into the man. I tell no lie, I tell the truth. Um, anyway, to God be the glory forever and ever. To Jesus Christ be glory, dominion, power, blessing forever and ever. Amen. I love you guys. I'll do another video later. I've got Sister Wendy coming round to have some fellowship with me um, because it, I don't get fellowship very often these days like a lot of you guys. But um, this is a form of fellowship. Um, I love you. May God bless you and keep you and make his glorious face shine upon you like this sun is shining on me. And be gracious unto you and compassionate. And the comforter shall come upon you. And the countenance of the Lord be lifted up upon you. His, his appearance lifted up upon you. And, and his peace given to you. And uh, that he pours out his spirit and glorifies himself through you. And, uh, and so that you're walking in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. With all power and might poured out into you. Hallelujah. Through Jesus Christ. Amen. Right guys, I'll get off. I love you. I'll speak to you in the next video. Be strong, be brave. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. And he will strengthen your heart. Draw close to God and he will draw close to you.